over the course of coinage history, there have been some very strange denominations, the two cent coin, the three cent coin, the 20 cent coin. But today we will be talking about some of the even stranger proposed denominations that never got approved. So stay tuned. So the first coin is the seven and a half cent coin. And the idea actually came from Coca-Cola. So in the 1950s, the price of a bottle of Coke was the same as it had been for more than 60 years, uh, five cents. So when Coca-Cola was founded in 1886, they were charging five cents a bottle. And in 1953, they were still charging five cents a bottle. So they really wanted to increase the price of their Coke, but at the same time, they wanted to keep their single coin vending machines. And if they made it, um, and they didn't want to have to charge a dime, but they wanted to charge more than a nickel. So they wanted to get a seven and a half cent coin made. So in 1953, the president of Coca-Cola, whose name is Robert Woodruff, um, suggested to President Eisenhower that the treasury should mint a seven and a half cent coin. And now uh, Robert and Eisenhower were friends. Uh, I think they were hunting friends. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and the they never ended up making the seven and a half cent coin, um, but they did end up increasing the cost of the Coke. So one sneaky trick that Coke tried out for uh, a little bit was in some of their vending machines, um, uh, sometimes when you put a nickel in, uh, the Coke wouldn't come out and you'd have to put another nickel in, and they did this on purpose, so some customers would have to pay a dime um, instead of a nickel, so therefore uh, they would make more, but they never ended up keeping that, because it was kind of a scam. So the next coin is a two and a half cent piece. And following the 1919 death of Theodore Roosevelt, a bill was almost passed which would have created a Roosevelt two and a half cent coin, as I just said. And the proposal gathered, and as I also just said, the proposal gathered a lot of support in Congress. Um, but by 1921, it had been modified to a two cent coin, which we already had uh, in the 1860s and 70s, as seen right there. Um, and now, although many people wanted to honor Roosevelt, there were some who felt his uh, likeness would have been belittled on such a coin with low value. And also because Roosevelt had done a lot to uh, improve high denomination gold coins, that was another reason they thought he wouldn't want to be on a two, cent, two and a half cent coin with not a lot of value. So the composition would have been 95% zinc uh, and 5% copper. And this composition would have appeared silvery at first, but after circulation uh, would have blackened. And he was eventually on a circulating coin with the advent of the 2016 quarter. So the final coin we will be talking about is a newer one. And it was a proposal for a $75 coin in uh, 2015. So in 2015, the U.S. Mint was going to launch a $75 gold coin, gold bullion uh, coin, and they came up with a ton of designs and everything, um, but they never ended up launching it. Instead, they launched a $100 gold uh, coin, but they did leave us, as I just said, which a, with a bunch of design proposals that we can look at. So here are some of the proposed designs for the 2015 $75 gold coin. So first we start with the obverses. Um, so this one looks kind of like a princess to me. And then there's all these that you can see. Um, I'll put a link to this down below in the description. Um, that one's actually kind of interesting. Um, this one was criticized by uh, coin world for being for having too much stuff in it as you can see there's a skyscrapers in the background this one that looks like there's leaves or actually she's surrounded by leaves kind yeah 
Mm. Um, so now this design was actually used on the 2015 uh, $100 gold coin that they made. Um, yeah. Um, so now this design, it kind of looks like, actually I'm not sure what that looks like, but she's holding two diff. she's holding the flag and then the sword. So I guess she's kind of like a warrior. There's another one where she's wearing, she's carrying a sword, uh, and a shield, and I guess she's wearing some armor. Uh, I don't really know. This one looks kind of Roman. That's... You see, if they had actually made these, these would have looked really, really good. Like this one or this one. But I guess they didn't. Because these four all look kind of similar. Um, and then we have that. Yeah, so in some of these, she's like flying through the air, which is very, very strange. This one, these two, she's like an angel. Which I kind of like. Here's another angel one. And then for the reverses... Most of them are just an air, an eagle. Actually, maybe all of them. But there's a bunch of different styles. This one looks really bad, to be honest. That kind of looks like a cartoon, which I don't like. Um, that one also looks kind of like a cartoon. That kind of looks like the two dollar and fifty cent, uh, gold, incused eagles or quarter eagles um, that they made. This one kind of, these two kind of look a bit realistic, which I like about those. Um, and then there's those. This one's kind of neat with just the head coming out of the leaves. Oh yes, and then this one was my favorite um, with the beak and then the feathers um, behind it. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, those were three strange denominations that never actually happened uh the seven and a half cent coin uh the two and a half cent coin and the 75 dollar coin um now don't forget to like and subscribe and watch another video or whatever um but yeah so thanks for watching uh you can probably click you can probably click here to subscribe um so yeah, thanks for watching, um, and bye.